Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for a highly anticipated video, highly requested video for the channel, and that is the predictions for the upcoming Cyber Weekend Black Friday deals, aka the Hunter's Market. That's what it's branded as for this year for 2024. So I have just finished my predictions. I didn't go quite as in depth as I have before on like all the individual little deals because in the hunter's mark or sorry in, in zemo's black market or whatever it was called last year um there was 13 different individual deals and i and i did not feel like trying to predict 13 different deals and those are like the really hard ones to predict too so i just kept it fairly simple we got the pierce parker's wallet star wars loot bag tony stark briefcase black panther's treasure all far's own vault and then two valiant deals one for cash one for units so that's what the predictions are going to be looking like today and uh, right before we go ahead and jump into everything there was one thing i wanted to mention when i was re-watching my cyber pulls from from last year that was when i pulled the little piggy for the first time uh and it was also where i pulled where is he here he is, Hulk, for the very first time. And Hulk still remains undo. So I'm really hoping that one year later we'll be able to pull him again. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into some predictions, man. So let's pull this back up. And let's go ahead and just get started with the Peter Parker's wallet. So let's go ahead and do that. So for five bucks, Peter Parker's wallet, I'm thinking some seven star shards, anywhere from 2,500 to 5,000. Oh, we have a little visitor coming. Ace is in this Christmas spirits. Hello, buddy. What are you doing? Are you going to come hang out for the video? Okay. Okay. You lay down. So yeah, I'm thinking some seven star shards for sure. Um, I think in one of the previous years, it was just 1000 in the Peter Parker's wallet. I think this is definitely wrapped up to at least minimum 2,500. And I could see a maximum of about 5,000. Uh, I could also definitely see some tier six basics and tier three alphas. I think maybe it's two. Anywhere from one to three. I'm just going to go for two of each. And then in some of the deals, maybe all of them, maybe not all of them, maybe because I was looking at some of the past deals, they didn't all contain the Valiant Crystals, only some did. Um, and, and we did see the introduction of Valiant Crystals in, in these deals before. I think it was for, for the summer deals earlier this year, July 4th kind of stuff. So I can definitely see Valiant Crystals again, but now maybe with a little bit of a Nexus-y twist, but then in brackets, question mark, I can definitely see that. So, you know, this is Peter Parker's wallet. Nothing too crazy, but definitely, you know, pretty good value for five bucks. All right, let's jump over to the Star Lord's loot bag where things definitely start to ramp up. So here we got Titan Shards. So again, for the uh, July weekend deals we had earlier this year, there was Titan Shards in the Star Lord's loot bag. Uh, I believe it was only 1,000. So I could see this going, I could see it staying at 1,000. I could also still seeing it go up to 2,500. I can't really see them giving more than 2500 titan shards though for star lord's loot bag i just i feel like that's the, the cap we're going to see for titan shards for that deal but i could definitely see some more seven star shards here anywhere from 5000 to 7500 you know that's between a third of a crystal and then to a half of a crystal i could easily see either of these amounts uh and then some t6cc selectable from the 25% to the 50% range, anywhere in there. It could be like a 10% or two, but I feel like T6CC has really opened up quite a bit. So I think 25 to 50% makes a ton of sense for this deal. So again, for like 10 US dollars, quite a bit of value in this deal. All right, let's ramp it up further to this Tony Stark's briefcase. So the Tony Stark's briefcase, I predicted with a lot of accuracy on, uh, on the last deals, because what I was predicting was sig stones and we saw i think it was 10 10 generic sig stones in the last big holiday deal for the tony stark's briefcase now the reason why i predicted that and why i was low-key pretty confident in that prediction is because we had seen a, a, a deal like that before years ago they were selling like six star generic sig stones for the first real time in like six stars life cycle you know generic they're selling them straight up for a for the first ever good deal in Tony Stark's briefcase. So I figured it was about time Seven Stars got that treatment. So we, we nailed that prediction. So I think they're going to keep that trend going. I can absolutely see them sticking to Tony Stark's briefcase, having the, the Seven Star Signature Stone identity. However, 
it was 10 before, I can't really see it going any more than double. So I think a 20 max, I could see it staying at 10. I could see maybe going up to 15, somewhere in the middle. But yeah, just put 10 to 20 to be safe. Um, 5,000 Titan Shards, you know, a, a nice chunk. That's a quarter of a crystal. So if you buy this deal, you know, four times, you're going to be getting a full Titan Crystal and a lot of generic signature stones. And then again, some Valiant Crystals, five of them here. Again, maybe they're Nexus. That'd be nice. I don't, I'm, I don't recall seeing Valiant Nexus Crystals yet. I could totally be mistaken. Let me know if we've seen those. Um, but if not, I feel like this would be a pretty good time to introduce them. Uh, and if we have seen them before, then it'd be a good time to bring them back. So, all right, so far, this is all more of the low key stuff, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks, 30 bucks. All right, what if, what about the big blubbery whales? What if you're really cracking open your wallet or your treasure chest? I was going to grab my treasure chest, but it's kind of far. Well, for the Black Panther's treasure, 10,000 Titan shards, so half a crystal, seven star, one to two rank up gem, generic, and one tier four alpha catalyst so i find the black panther treasures to typically be kind of hard to predict like i find the odin kind of easy actually like I, not easy in predicting but easy in like i have a lot of ideas of what it could be whereas the black panther treasure i find it much more difficult to, to think like what it really could be but this is what i came to so you, you got a lot of titan shards here ten thousand, you know half a crystal you're getting a generic one to two gem which not a lot of people need um before this deal was also very catalyst focused but it was focused outside of the gem so you know there was multiple t6 cc selectors there was multiple tier 6 basic catalyst there was multiple tier 3 alpha catalyst so instead of all that just clogging up the deal just some nice neat seven star one to two generic rank up gem and there's a lot of value in those gems and if they're generic hey, yeah i think that'd be pretty good plus you know one full tier 4 alpha so if you get this deal like three times you know you're gonna have thirty thousand titan shards you're going to have enough for a full rank three and be able to take up three different seven stars to rank two. Yeah, I feel like this deal, I, I'm, I'm not the most confident in this one, but I couldn't think of really anything else. I think it's an all right prediction. And then some more Valiant Crystals, like seven to eight. Again, hopefully they're Nexus. All right, that's what I'm thinking here. All right, I think we'll save the Odin's Vault for last. Let's go. All right, let's get stuck in on these Valiant special deals. So we're going to go ahead and start with the ones for units and then the ones for money. So there was, you know, like 13 individual deals uh, in, in the underground market last year. That was what Zemos was called, underground market. So this year, it's the hunter's market for Craven. There's also a grand prize of a seven-star Craven. Um, let me pull this up real quick. So uh, hunter's market, this is what was said on the Kabam stream. So this is guaranteed. This isn't predictions. This is going to be here. Seven star awakening gems available for both Valiant and Paragon, which is crazy. So Paragons sounds like they're not getting screwed this year, which is good. And then seven star Craven. So his first release has a seven star ability to awaken him through the web store milestone track. Okay. Not at all fussed about Craven. And there's weapon X available as a top tier reward in the web store milestone track. Um, and yeah, and so this was just a recap of the stream. So seven star awakening gems. So I think this is, we're definitely, it says, you know, right here, hunter's market. That's where we're going to see the seven star awakening gems. So I don't think we're going to see the seven star awakening gems for cash. You know, I, or at least not in the, in these, in, in any of the, the Parker's wallet, the star loop bag, the briefcase, the back of the treasure, all for Odin. You know, I think we're going to see one for units and maybe one in a special deal. So let's, without further ado, let's check this out. What I got here. So four units and how many units? Well, it's probably going to require 15,000 units spent just to unlock this deal. And then this deal itself will probably be anywhere from 5,000 to 6,000 units. That's what it was a year ago for the Valiant deal. Uh, and the end of the underground market it was 6,000 units. So I would expect this deal to be somewhere in that ballpark, but remember, you gotta spend 15,000 units first to unlock it. So, seven star awakening gem crystal. This will be the first ever seven star awakening gem crystal, which I, 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 I am so excited about. You know, for this whole event, if there was no awakening gems, it's funny because 
people in Fort Lauderdale are having this conversation literally right now. I actually took a break from recording this, made a couple adjustments, and I've been talking to my in our, in our Fort Loki chat. And you know, one of our whales says he's you're not really excited for Cyber Weekend. You know, if there's not going to be any rank four material, and I, I do not think there will be rank four material until banquet. I've been saying that for like the last year. Um, that's when I think we'll see the first ever rank four material is banquet. Until then, I don't think we're going to see it. You know, the main lure and chase for, for this Cyber Weekend or Hunter's Market, whatever you want to call it, is going to be those Awakening Gems. And for me, that gets me hyped. That 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 grabs my attention for sure. So I think this is where we're going to see our 7-star Awakening Gem Crystal. So it's just a, a crystal, one in six chances to get the class that you want. Or it could be maybe a Nexus. So you open it up and three classes pop up. So you get at least a choice. Instead of one in six, it's three out of six. So I could definitely see that. could see it being a, a, a Nexus. Let's just write that in there here, Nexus. Um, and then a generic two to three rank up gem. Because I have some other rank three material plan for that requires spending so this would be how any free to play players you know with in-game units can get uh, a two to three rank up gem this could also just be like tier four alpha catalyst originally i had just written three tier four alpha catalysts here kind of the same you know there is more resources in this than three three tier four alphas a lot well, technically a lot more but it's the same amount of tier four alpha the main chase resource you know so yeah this could be used on anyone and then about 80 I, I think we're going to see a lot of sig stones in this event you know and i think this deal here is going to contain some i could see this being anywhere from like 50 to 100 i went with 80 so 80 random sig stone crystals so these are not generic they're just crystals you open them up and you get one out of six classes so that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking man a full rank three an awakening gem and six that's a pretty good deal if you ask me um I like this deal a lot. What about if you spend money? So if you just straight up spend some cold hard cash, what can you get? What can you get for the green? Well, let's take a peek. So for the cash, the cash money, another seven star awakening gem. This one though is I'm predicting either a generic, but at the same time, I, I feel like Kabam isn't going to release the first ever generic seven star awakening gem through deals. I feel I personally, if I was Kabam, I would release the first ever Seven Star Awakening gem through content. Um so that's why I put S E L here as in selector. So, you know, you just pick mutant, skill, um science, tech, mystic, or cosmic. You just pick whatever class you want of awakening gem. You just get to pick which is basically the same as a generic, but technically different. You know, with a generic, you can just grab that and hold on to it forever. With a selector, you need to make that decision right away. Um, and then I could see a Titan Nexus Crystal. Would love to see that. And then just trade up 100. Again, this could be anywhere from like 50 to 100. I went on the higher side on this one. Straight up 100 generic signature stones. You just throw those into any champion you want. So that's what I'm thinking for the big bad valiant deals for cash and then for units after you go through like the entirety of the hunter's market spending enough to unlock this deal. Because they say awakening gems available for both valiant and paragon. So when I read that, I read that as at least two seven star awakening gems available for valiant and for paragon within the hunter's market which has to be technically free to play. But I don't know if I'm reading that exactly correctly or not. Maybe they'll just have, you know, one gem for units, one for money. I don't know. Um, like I said, there could also be like 12 other individual deals. And one of those could maybe contain another awakening gem, the ones that I did not predict. Um, but yeah, this is where we're at. All right, without any further ado, let's take a look at the Grand Daddy, the Big Bad All Father Odin's Vault. What do we got in the vault? Let's go one at a time here. So we got... Wait. What happened? There we go. So I'm thinking some Sig Stones. 
anywhere from you know 20 to 50 I'm thinking six stone crystals. They could be generics for sure, but I feel like this deal is, you know, more focused on the generic six stones. They could just tack, it's the, the Odin. So they could totally just tack on some generics. I think it's more likely if they tack on any six at their random. If I'm buying an Odin, I'd be happy with just there being seven star six there, regardless of whether they're generic or not. But yeah, anywhere from 20 to 50, six. All right, what next? Well, a straight up, two to three rank up gem crystal so you know we get this crystal in um in necropolis let's go ahead and jump in game real quick show that off what i'm talking about so i think we're gonna get that in every single all father odin's vaults a straight up rank three i, I think it's that time i think we've had enough rank threes to see this um you know in I've, I've gotten my last two Odin predictions pretty much perfectly correct. Uh, for last Cyber, I was predicting 50% Tier 4 Alpha. That's what we got. Or is it a little bit under 50%, but right around it. And then for the f Fun in the Sun July 4th deals earlier this year, I was predicting 1.5. So one full Catalyst and a half. And that was exactly correct. So... For this year, man, I think it's time we see these. Straight up, 7-star rank up gem crystal from 2 to 3. I think we're going to see those in the Odin. So for every Odin that you pick up, that's another rank 3. But you don't get to pick the class because it's random. I think that's what we're going to see. There's been a lot of rank 3s. Let me show you guys how many rank 3s I have as someone who is in the upper echelon of the game, but doesn't spend like an absolute mad lad. You know, I spend, but I try to spend somewhat responsibly. And I'm at 19 rank threes now. That is a lot, dude. So I feel like there's enough rank threes in the ecosystem for Kabam to release a deal like this. I think it's time. That's what I think it's going to be. So for with every Odin, you know, some SIGs and some rank threes, that's great. But there's always a big crystal in every single odin now this is the f my personal favorite part to predict um what is that special crystal going to be in the odin and so last year for the first ever time we actually had um a selector so let me pull that up here boom Let's see is that on screen for you guys yeah so you can see here this was in the all father odin's vault and it was a selector. So you either get 20,000 seven star shards, or you can go for a seven star class hero crystal selector. So I, I really like this actually. I'm a really big fan of this. I hope that they keep this strength, this uh, same format. And what I'm thinking it could be, man, is either you pick from 20,000 Titan shards. So like, here you know this deal twenty thousand seven star shards so this would just be twenty thousand titan shards which would be you know a full crystal so with every odin you can get a full titan crystal uh, or shards you know enough shards and save them doesn't matter just a psa whether you have a fully formed titan crystal or twenty thousand titan shards it doesn't matter if you save that for the, when the pool changes both will change just just a psa um so yeah i'm thinking the first one twenty thousand titan shards the second one i could see this being just a regular seven star nexus crystal i could also see it being another seven star class hero crystal but personally i think those are too boring i think for this to really be exciting and to rival you know twenty thousand titan shards it needs to be a seven star class nexus crystal so you know if you pick science your seven star is going to spin and it's only going to pull from the science class but three options will pop up because, you know, you, 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 we have to compare value here. 20, 000, a full Titan Crystal versus, you know, anything in the base pool is not the same equivalent value, even if it's a class crystal. It needs to be a class Nexus to, to rival a full Titan Crystal in value, in my opinion. So this is what I'm thinking for the big All-Father Odin 20k Titan Shards selector, or you pick a 7-star class Nexus, a random 2-3 to three rank up gem and some six stones if this is what the odin looks like i will definitely be buying a few of them definitely without a doubt 
this is i feel like it, it i feel like maybe i'm over predicting here because this just seems so good but i don't know i i feel like they're really gonna try to blow us out of the water um before this banquet event comes they want us to spend our money they want us to spend our units before banquet so i feel like they're gonna make it crazy especially because this is the grand banquet plus the 10 year anniversary for the game i don't know i feel like, maybe i was a little bit too generous on these predictions maybe not i don't know let me know all your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below do you think i'm way off do you think i'm right on the money we'll see we'll see in about nine days i think it's the 29th yeah november 29th and so i will be live streaming on youtube before these deals come out so you can get my honest live reaction we'll i'll rate all the deals tell you my thoughts on all of them and then we can also compare with these predictions to see how how i did if i was way off if i was kind of close we'll see so that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this cyber weekend hunter's market prediction video for 2024 i would really appreciate you guys dropping a like rating on the video maybe share this in a line chat maybe your alliance chat uh for some other people to see it really helps me out get the content out there uh, my goal is to hit 120,000 subscribers before the year ends but less than 5,000 subscribers away so if you're not already subscribed consider hitting that button i post content every single day that's gonna go ahead and do it from me and my little buddy ace he's taking a nice snoozer down there i uh, hope you guys all have a great wonderful day and remember to spend responsibly when this event does come up don't feel the fomo the fear of missing out um the banquet like i just said is going to be probably the greatest biggest baddest banquet we've ever seen so if you want to save your cash or your units for that please do don't don't feel bad about it at all please all right that's gonna do for this video hope you guys have a great wonderful day peace